So here we go, a man ranks League 2, 22, 23 kits in an Inter Milan shirt. A very nice Inter Milan shirt, I have you know. Not one of the retro remakes, it's genuine from way back when. Baggy enough for future bingo wings, should I uh, choose to go that route. So this, of course, is the first of the uh, kit rankings for this season. I've tried to hold off as long as possible. Some of the teams are dragging their heels. Actually, you know what? One, two... Two teams are dragging their heels. And one of those teams are in this division, and it starts with Crawley Town. I, I don't know if their kit's been stuck on the blockchain or something, but uh, I have found an article. And it says Crawley Town are delighted to confirm that Adidas has become the official kit manufacturer. During preseason, players and management will be wearing interim training and match kits. Uh, full range will be revealed prior to the start of the 22 23 Skybet League 2 campaign. At the time of recording this, the season kicks off in two days. Maybe they want like a big reveal. So we're going to take Crawley out of this, unfortunately. Sorry if you're a Crawley Town fan, but um, look. I've got videos to make. And ultimately, it's going to be red, right? Should this kit be absolutely banging and top of the table, I will speak about it in one of the next uploads. But for now, it's going to be 23 teams ranked rather than 24. And I couldn't find a brand new kit anywhere for Harrogate. I believe what a lot of teams do is they, they change their kit every other year. They've got a brand new away kit, but we're not talking about away kits. We're not. Do not comment below. Yeah, but the away kit's really nice. I don't want to know. We're doing home kits. In fact, here's a deal. If this video can get 3,000 likes, I will do away kits for League 2. And I'll set the same targets for League 1, Championship, and Prem as well. But listen, if you don't like the video, there's obviously no point in making the videos if you guys don't... Yeah. Anyway, Harrogate, yeah, they, I think they swap every year. So the, the away kit is the new one this year. Next year will be the home kit. So it is the same as last season. And I've seen it before. You've probably seen it before. It's awful. And the thing that makes it awful is the sponsor, Strata. I think there's something to do with homes and stuff. It's a big red square in the middle of a... Half decent design shirt. Take that red square away and put like a, a, a nice black sponsor across the front. It immediately becomes a nice shirt. But the point is they've got a giant red square on the middle of their shirt. And it seems to be more about that than the actual kit itself. I feel sorry for Harrogate fans. Bottom of the league as far as I'm concerned when it comes to shirts. Next up we're heading to the rugby in Doncaster. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. I guess hoop shirts always have that danger of becoming rugby. And I guess the collar encourages that. But yeah, red and white hoops. The badge is a badge. You're not going to really do anything about it. Obviously it is a completely different colour to the kit. The manufacturer, who's that? Oxen. That's black. And then you've got this green Eco Power Group sponsor. Which is fantastic, I'm sure. But it just looks horrible. Nothing on this shirt goes. And that's why it finds itself in 22nd. Next up, I feel like I'm looking at an old Nottingham Forest shirt. Maybe from like 96. It's giving me those vibes. I'm going to throw the image up here actually and it probably looks nothing like it however St. Evanage Stevenage I missed the Burger King sponsor I'm not going to lie as these videos go on you, you'll learn to know that uh, less is more for me ideally three colours max and at least one of them has to be neutral but yeah whites and blacks for days splashes of colour can help and that's why their old kit really worked because the Burger King had that yellow bit in it but this is a red and black shirt with white on it which is fine for the most part but then you've got the yellow trim around the badge and it's just kind of it's not great. And actually, I don't think I like the kit. There's nothing ultimately wrong with it. I just think it looks a bit old and dated, but not in a good way. This is a 2022 shirt, and I feel like it's a bad mid-90s shirt. Not a nice one at all. Stevenage, 21st. Into 20th, we have a Tranmere Rovers. I read somewhere a fan might have designed this kit. I can't be sure. But this particular shirt is very, very plain, and then, like, dots of colour everywhere. And most of the dots are in that badge. I can see greens, reds, yellows, a little bit of blue in there. Then you've got the blue manufacturing mills. Never heard of them before. That's a slightly different colour to, like, the, the slashes that are going down. And there's a little bit of green in the slash as well. Oh, yeah. And then on the sponsor, you've got the orangey red bit. I don't like it. There's not a lot going on, but there is a lot going on. Try me. I'm sorry. 20th. In 19th place, we have this shirt here from Barrow. As you can see, manufactured by Puma and sponsored by an accountant. I can see what they tried to do. Colour of the kit kind of matches the badge. You've got a little bit of red in that badge as well, which comes out in the sponsor. Ultimately, the colours are all aligned. But I just don't know what this is. I mean, what is that? I'm seeing fabric softener. Looks like it fits well, but yeah, it's just not a shirt that I'd be happy with. 19th place, Barrow. Next up in 18th, we've got Carlisle. And again, just not really feeling this design. I don't know what this is. I've sp <laughs> I spent two minutes trying to break this shirt down, but I can't... <laughs> I can't get my words out. All right, Midnight Navy shirt with this random light blue design. Red and white trim on the sleeves and the collar. I can kind of see what they're trying to do here, but it's not worked. Manufacturer's all white. Maybe put white trim on the badge so that it kind of ties in the, the manufacturer, the sponsor, and the and the badge. It's just subtle changes. Could sort this shirt out and maybe bump it up one or two places, but ultimately it's not, it's not really a, a shirt I'm taking to. And that is why it's low down in this table. Next up, we've got Sutton United. It's an unfortunate couple of colors, isn't it? Yellow and brown, but you can make it look really nice. And this one... I feel like they've, um, I don't know. I feel like they've tried hard here. Sponsors are very important to the look of a kit. And they can actually be like a real hero for it as well. Despite me liking bold lettering, I'm a big fan of it. Angel Plastics are not going to make, uh, I don't think, any shirt a 10 out of 10. It just doesn't match the vibe of the shirt. It's a bit like we're going for quarters, but not quite quarters. We're going to have striped quarters. But then the other quarters, which are yellow, we just leave yellow. In hindsight, maybe I should have ranked this a little bit lower. Look, props for trying, but I don't like it. In 16th, things start to get a little bit better, but there are some issues with these shirts still. As you can see, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Crown oil. Bang in the middle. Make it white and it might work. Overall, it's, you know, it looks like an older shirt. 
You know, you've got those collars there, which are traditionally a little bit more retro. Collared shirts are coming back. White collar, white trim on the sleeves, white manufacturer, white trim on the badge. It's all very matching here. Blue and black stripes with a, a, a thin blue pinstripe in the black stripes. And then crown oil, bang in the middle. If crown oil changed their logo to a white one, and I see a lot of sponsors doing this. You know, as a Spurs fan, we see AIA. If they've got their brand in of red, that has to go on the Spurs shirt. But for a way, they switch it up and, and, and make it work. I do wonder how much sponsors get involved in the design of a kit. Because if a kit is nice, maybe more people will be likely to buy it. Thus meaning, brand awareness, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, Crown Oil, they put their foot down here. They want red, and it just doesn't work. Into 15th, we've got what could be a, a, a Tour de France jersey. It's very cyclinish. Is cyclinish a word? I don't know. But it is now. I do love Hummel as a brand, but they haven't really gone in on their chevrons this year. Just a couple at the top on the shoulder. You need to go all the way down, lads. That's what makes Hummel hum. Not in a smelly way. In a good way. Hum diggity. Yeah, this shirt, it's a nice colour. I don't think the dots were needed. Kind of encroaches on the badge there and the and the manufacturer as well. And then pure vans in red and grey. Just doesn't work. But as I say, it's still not as bad as the other kits below them. So uh, here we are. Newport County, you've got yourself a 15th place shirt, in my opinion. IMO. Next up, we've got Mansfield Town, who, just like Harrogate, I believe, are keeping their kit. Same as last season. They've changed their away, but we're not talking about that. 3,000 likes, people. 3,000 likes. But yeah, I think we've reached that part of the table where kits are less offensive now. You've got the yellow and blue design. It looks like there's a bit of a pattern in the background of that yellow as well. I always like a bit of pattern. Just a bit of shine, you know? It's nice. It's nice. Can't lie, the badge is a little bit lost, but it's blue. Same as the manufacturer. The sponsor is almost blue, but they've whacked the word insurance in red underneath it. So what does that do? It keeps it down the pecking order a bit. But Mansfield Town, it's, a, it's an okay shirt. It's, it's, it's okay. It will do. You can run out on the first day of the season and be like, you know what? This is a football shirt. Saying that you are away and you have got a brand new away kit, so you might decide to wear that as well. But next time you are at home and you do happen to wear your yellow and blue kit from last season, just, yeah, it, it, it's okay. Next up, we've got Northampton, who I believe are in their 125th year, so congratulations. That is a century and another quarter of football. Gone for the pinstripes, and the pinstripes is going around the University of Northampton sponsor, so it's not um, going right through it. It stops, and I kind of appreciate that. You see some striped shirts where the sponsor's just way whacked over the top, and you can actually see the stripe through the back of the sponsor. We want the stripes to run. We stop. We read, we carry on. I actually think the thing that's bringing this shirt down is actually the badge, and uh, I get why they've gone for gold, because it's a special year. But had that been the claret colour, bang, even higher. Perhaps they could have done like a white claret and gold trim to celebrate the 125th year. But listen, you do you. Congratulations on your football club. Northampton Town, everybody. Next up is one of my favourite clubs, as you guys know. It's Grimsby, and um, they had a really nice kit last year. They've been rocking that young seafood sponsor since God knows when. Oh, two seconds. Bit of crime. Yeah, they've been rocking that young seafood sponsor since, well, 2004. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. I'm not going to lie. Instead, they've got my energy in, and um, it's fine. It's white text, but it's got a green bit. We all know improving energy and, and doing our bit is labelled up as very green. If we can all get on that horse and say, you know what, yeah, we get it, but can we change the colour on the football kits? Fantastic. Energy, brilliant. Let's let's do our bit. But it's not going to be green, because we want the kit to look good. My two problems with this kit is just that. The little green squiggle. And the collar as well. Perhaps they could have gone in a bit more on the red trim on the sleeves. Obviously, they've got the Macron manufacturer in red. They've got this uh, piping on the collar in red. Not a big fan of the white bit there. That could... Just lose that. That'd be fine. Yeah, those finer details there could have made this shirt that much better. But ultimately, we're missing the young seafood sponsor, aren't we? Let's just take a moment. All right, up next, Poundland. There's a lot going on in the background. I think it says Saddlers in various fonts, upside down, left, right, diagonal. We get the point. We've got a bit of trim on the sleeves. It's white and green, but then on the round neck, we've got red and green. Why not make that white and green? That would finish yourself nicely. Poundland across the front does devalue this though. I'm not saying don't go Poundland. Save money where you can. Go Poundland, go, go. Also doing a really good job of promoting that, but Poundland. We're at that stage, it's not a bad shirt, but it's just not for me. Next up, we've got this shirt from Gillingham. It's the best image I could find. It feels very, like... But this one, very simple. The blue, I think it's got a nice little pattern on the background. The blue in the badge matches the kit as well, which is great. They've got little bits of trim here and there, so whether they need the uh, the trim on the arms, I don't know. They've got the Macron logos on the shoulders. They've got a couple of stripes down the bottom. No problems whatsoever with Gillingham. I... It, it, I just don't love it. Well done for not making a crap shirt. Next up, we've got Salford. My least favourite colour is red. And I feel like the majority of the football league seems to be red. So I've put my colour neutral hat on today. I'm not, like, discrediting red shirts at all. I'm looking at the design. And then probably ending every sentence in uh, probably look better in blue. But hey, look. It's a red shirt. Talk Talk for everyone. I'm guessing that's Talk Talk, the internet provider. Don't know what they're like these days. I've been with Virgin for years. You know, it's everyone out there's got a problem with an internet provider. Where I used to work for Apple, I used to have all these people coming in about their internet at home. And Tiskily was the old people. Talk Talk was the, the more modern but cheaper version. Virgin was like really good but because it's so good that when it goes wrong everyone has a moan. Sky, not fast enough. 
I don't know why I'm talking about internet connections, but hey, Talk Talk for everyone is a sponsor. It goes with the rest of the shirt. Castor or Castor. This brand have been popping up recently. Got some big clubs under their belts and uh, they've got Salford City included. Like the Badger Salford, very simple. It's a red shirt, nothing offensive about it. They wanted to make it stand out a little bit more. They could have done white trim around the round neck and uh, on the sleeves, but yeah, overall, not got a problem with it. Salford City, well done. Moving on, we've got Hartlepool. Now, the more I looked at this, the more it bothered me less. At first, I was like, oh, a lot going on here. And I'm still thinking there's a lot going on there. It's a white and blue striped shirt with red pinstripes in it too. Although those stripes do stop. Brighton had a really good strip last year, I think it was, uh, with their, their stripes coming down and it stopped. American Express in there and they carried on. This is a very similar sort of thing where the stripes stop. We talk about Northampton's pinstripe stopping. They've done it again here. Suit Direct. I need a suit. I've got a wedding coming up in Italy, so we need to get that. I'll, I'll check out Suit Direct. Sponsorships work. They do. Brand awareness. Could Suit Direct have gone blue? With that sponsor, perhaps. But yeah, it is quite a busy shirt, but it's not offending me too much, strangely. What do you guys think about this one? I think this will split opinions. I think some people will like it. Some people will absolutely hate it. I could have said Marmite, but you know what? A lot of people say it's like Marmite, and then they go on to explain that they either love it or hate it. But that's what Marmite's famous for. You either love it or hate it. You don't need to say that bit. It's like Marmite. Stop. <laughs> right, yeah. Let me know what you think about the Hartley Pool kit. And while you do that, here's a word from this week's... There's no sponsor this week. Seventh, I have the Real Wimbledon. It's not my favourite Real Wimbledon kit, but it's still a nice template. Very simple. Football manager, you know, really boosts things. A bit of design in the background. This looks very, very plain. I think Puma have done previous kits. It's Hummel that are on this one. They've got the Chevrons down there, but it's not winning me over as much as previous kits. I actually do prefer AFC Wimbledon's away kit. And the only reason I'm bringing this up because we are concentrating on home kits. Their away kit is also blue. It's like back in 1999, steps fall. Wimbledon are going to go under. They're going to come back as AFC Wimbledon. And in 2022, they're going to bring out a blue kit, but they're also going to bring out an away kit, which is a slightly deeper shade of blue. And they sung a song about it. 90s pop knowledge there. I think they've got a fur kit, which is red and green. So obviously they're going to wear that more. When would they wear the away blue kit? Would they wear the away blue kit when they're away and it doesn't clash? I don't know. But the away blue kit is nicer, as you can see. Okay, number six. Talk to me. Colchester United. Another Macron shirt. They're doing really well this year. They're saying the stripes are back. They are big stripes. Big, big bad boy stripes. And again, they're stopping, allowing the sponsor to be red, and they carry on. Nice bit of gold trim as well. Yeah, it's a nice looking kit. Colchester fans, are you happy with it? I am happy for you. Congratulations, but you don't get in the top five. And I'll tell you why you don't get in the top five. It's because this shirt is there. It's Stockport County. There's a lot going on, but it's fairly simple on the eye. You've got these zigzaggy things which have got a bit of gradient to them darker blue lighter blue the collar's white the sponsor's white the badger's got white in it the manufacturer's got white in it you know we're only working with a couple of colors and i think they'd be very happy with this kit obviously a little bit of color in the badge there is gold but it's not it's, it's not taking over the shirt at all it gets into the top five congratulations stockport county okay number four we're hotting up it's a red shirt shouldn't like it it's crew alexandra I, i'm liking the design in the background again Red and a deeper shade of red. Wasn't sung by Steps in 99. And you can see there, all these V-shaped lines going down. And they keep going and they keep going and then they fade. It's not all the way through. It fades. Again, red, white, blue, white, black, white. Two colours. Little bit of colour popping from the badge again, but, you know, that's not offensive. FBT is the manufacturer. I've never heard of them before. And a nice bold sponsor on the front. Mournflake. Mighty Oats. As for the collar, just a little bit. Just, just one half, really. I don't know if I like it or not. I'm more about symmetry. And, uh, obviously, that doesn't go all the way around, so... Yeah. Crew, fourth place. And into number three is a team that I feel like I've tried everything. I don't think traditionally they're stripes. I don't think traditionally they're quarters. I don't think traditionally they're they're plain. I just think they go for it. This year they've gone for stripes. It's Bradford City. There's not many teams out there that rock amber and claret, so it's theirs to go to town with. And I like how the colours are the main thing here, and the sponsor and the manufacturer sort of sitting back with the neutral. And actually, that makes it pop more. Macron again doing a good job. Little collars. They've got black with the amber trim. Black obviously goes with the uh, the shorts and the socks. And the more I look at it, the more I really like it. Bradford City, congratulations on the kit. We've got third for them into second who have i got down is swindon puma here saying yep we know what we want we want the black trim on the sleeves we want the black and red trim on the collar we're going with that that is us and then on the front of the shirt we're going more white they're neutrals they can go together it's absolutely fine puma in white white on the background of the actual badge itself with a bit of gold but you know that's that's just their badge it all very much goes but the thing i love the most is this swirl of red in the background i really like the design of it makes me want to just dive into it it's simple subtle modern and i don't normally like modern shirts and it doesn't offend me swindon really good shirt like that which leaves one final shirt and i was talking about i don't like red but the top two were red late in orient i could literally describe that swindon kit and we go again the black trim on the sleeves and the collar the white on the manufacturer of puma there's white shining through on the badge and then white on the sponsor and the sponsor is you know fantastic it sends a message harry kane involved in uh, sort of the charity side of things as well and i think ultimately the message here is what what pops it above the swindon one but i do like the old squares we don't normally see squares we obviously think of croatia but that's obviously a lot more harsh red and white red and white this is red and red just a deeper shade 
is subtle. And for me, it wins the league two kits for this season. Now, let me know in the comments below if I should do this. But I was thinking of taking the top five from every league that I'm about to do. Obviously, we've done League Two, League One, Championship, and Prem. And we make that into the best 20. And from that, we'll get the best kit across the 92. It could be quite tough because we're obviously dealing with uh, some very nice kits. If you do like these type of videos, make sure you support me by uh, dropping a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And obviously, if you want away kit versions of these, then um, yeah, we need to hit those 3,000 likes. So that's it. I'm Smith. This is my channel. You can stop by whenever you want. As I say, next video is going to be League One kits. I'll see you in that next one. Peace.